Hello everyone, welcome to our video tutorial about creating forms. In today's tutorial, we are going to learn how we can create forms using the split form option and the multiple items option. To follow this tutorial, we are going to open our database known as the workers wage database. So from the workers uh, wage database we are going to still create our forms basing on this table we called november to come up with those two forms to create our split form we are going to click on the create tab so from the create tab we are still working with the forms group and this is the split form option we are going to work with. So we shall click on the split form option. So when you click on the split form option, this is how the form will be created. So with this type of uh, form, you, you can see that you have the, the records displayed in one half of the screen. Then on the other half of the screen, you have got the selected record that is the information from the table. So it is this information from the table that you can work with to edit the information you have in your form. That is if you want to do so. We can also use the navigation buttons below here. So with this navigation button once you click on it you realize that when we click on this navigation button here our record changes to the next uh, record and also from this selected record below here we have the second record so when you click below the changes affects both the form and your selected record below so that means that if you want to do some editing you can use this navigation button because with this split uh, form option allows you to edit your form using this currently selected records for instance you may want to edit some information from one of these individuals or from these records and say you want to edit this person uh, record 8 which is jimmy kako so to reach him uh, or that record you use this button you click so when you click and you reach that individual then which uh, which cell do you want to to edit under which column so we want to edit this column of already paid for this uh, Jimmy so instead of 10,000 it was an error we were supposed to give he, he had already been paid a hundred thousand so to edit that you can click inside that cell you want to edit then you delete the information and you type the information you want so it is 100 so after typing you click in the form so when you click in the form also under the already paid field you can see now there is a change so if you want to edit this individual for instance james tendo tembo then you will click in that field you would like to edit so you realize that uh, this individual had already received 150 but you indicated 50,000 so what you do is to edit you delete then you put 150,000 so once you have done so even in your form it is now reflecting that you are working with that very individual so after typing right now it is not yet changed but when you click you can now see the changes in the form as well so that is the good thing with this split form option whenever you create any form that form opens in the form view as we can see from this option even the split form has these other uh, views as we can 
C. And as we have discussed in the previous tutorial, they all perform the same task. So to save this form, we shall use this form tab or you can just click on the uh, save button which is found on the quick access tool bar. So we want to change the name of our form from November to split form for workers. So we say we delete then we say split form then for for workers then you click on ok so when you click on ok you will have the form name displayed on the form tab and to close you just use this close button and your form is closed but it will always be on the navigation pane our next uh, example is now we would like to create a form using the multiple items option. To do that, we shall go to the create tab, then we click on the multiple items option. So when you click on the mul multiple uh, items option, this is how your form will be created. And your form still is opened in the layout view so this is the layout view the same form has also the three options for viewing the form just like any other form so we can click to remove that display now with this form you can see that for it it is unique in that it displays all the records that are in the table so all the records are arranged in form of a data sheet form that is in form of the rows and the columns so to view the remaining records below you just use the scroll bar we can see the last record is below there then if you want you can still use this form uh, the layout view to try to modify these fields so if you want to reduce the size of the fields you just come up here on the field name then you click and keep on reducing using this border so when you click click hold and move to reduce so you can modify your form the way you want it if you want to enlarge you just click and enlarge the form for instance you can click on that one then you enlarge on your form uh, field so this is the uh, the form we have created using the multiple uh, items option so if we would like to to view this form in another way then we shall use this view option for instance we click on the form view so this is the form view if you come to the form view you can still edit the records the way you want so that is the good thing with this form view even this one you can edit if there is some uh, error you want to rectify then you can use this form view to help you do that then with the design view if we can click on it so that's how your design view is displayed the contents are not displayed rather what is displayed are the fields so you work only with the fields where we see november this is the form header section as we can see here then below here this is the footer uh, area as we can see from here so you can do anything or any customization you want from this design view so hope you found this video tutorial useful to you i only encourage you to keep on trying working with these objects that's it for now See you in our next tutorial.